It's now my pleasure to introduce the valedictorian for today's convocation. The valedictorian is chosen by the graduating class in an election held each spring. I am pleased to introduce this year's valedictorian, Kira Chisholm. Most Reverend Chancellor Bishop Harris, President and Vice Chancellor Russell, honorary degree recipients, honored guests, faculty, staff, family members and friends, thank you for joining us today. Your support has been essential in getting us to this moment, so it's wonderful that you get to be here to witness the payoff. And of course, an extra special thank you to the class of 2019. Without you and your hard work, we quite literally would not be here. So, when thinking about what I would say to you today, I was faced with the delightful little paradox of beginning a goodbye. And I was really concerned with finding the perfect way to begin this send-off. We all come from different backgrounds, we've discovered different interests, and have had different experiences while at St. Thomas. And I wanted to begin with some sort of memory or shared experience which brought us together. But I was struggling to find the thread that connects our journey beyond the coincidence that we all happen to go to St. Thomas. Um, and I eventually realized that, like a great many other things I've learned here, the answer was right in my question. Trying to figure out how to begin is exactly what brought us together four years ago, and it's what connects us on our journey today. We are here together in a moment of transition, and we arrive here today having overcome challenges which are maybe unknown to the people around us. You fought to come here, you persevered to stay here, and getting today is nothing short of a victory. Today, we celebrate that triumph. Today, we honor who you were, we celebrate who you are, and we embrace who you will become. The fact is that we are not who we were four years ago. We came together at a time of beginning and of leaping into the unknown. Beginnings are frightening for many of us, um, the first few weeks of uh, classes and welcome week may have been overwhelming. We were faced with trying to find new friends, trying to find belonging. Maybe you were trying to reinvent yourself in a new place or trying to figure out what you were going to study for the next four years. For some, it may have been a seamless transition where you instantly found your footing and found your community. But for others, it may have been overshadowed by doubt as to whether St. Thomas was the right place and whether liberal arts was the right choice. Regardless of how that initial leap felt, I think that I'm safe in saying that we weren't alone. Professors, staff, and administration made St. Thomas a place in which to confront firsts. Maybe it was your first time living away from home. Maybe it was the first time in a new country. Maybe it was your first apartment, the first time you felt proud of something, or maybe it was the first time that you didn't feel so proud of your work. Maybe you found your first love here, or maybe, the buildings of campus were witness to the first time that you picked yourself up after disappointment. Whatever those firsts were, St. Thomas has been a part of growing up. It's where we started to figure out who we are, and it's what has equipped us to move forward. Moving on from a place that was kind to you is hard, but I just want to emphasize that this is anything but the end. The people who you stand among are cheering for you wherever you go, and they're rooting for you whatever you do. Our memories of St. Thomas are full of wonder and challenges and triumphs. It's the place where friends have become soulmates, where vague interest has become passion and purpose, and where our studying has given us tools for life, and where curiosity has opened a whole new horizon of possibility. We're all familiar with what graduation means. In the typical sense, it signifies the completion of a course of study. But this moment of completion is also located in the midst of transition. The word connotes uh, moving onward and upwards, discovery, improvement, and development. And I am certain that St. Thomas has prepared us for whatever lies ahead. But the work does not stop here. The next step looks different for everybody, but I think that as we move forward, that next step is also overshadowed by the media telling us that we live in interesting times. The responsibility to ensure that interesting does not become catastrophic, it will fall to us and our generation. 
but I think it will find us prepared. As we turn the page to a new chapter today, I offer you this. I hope you find joy wherever you go. I hope that you find purpose if you haven't quite figured that out yet. I hope that you continue to follow your curiosity. I hope that you'll know when to stand firm and when to compromise. I hope that you will love deeply. I hope that you will learn from the people around you. And I hope that you spend your precious time on this planet living to the fullest. I hope that anger at injustice will spur you to action. And I hope that fear will inspire courage to inspire you to go deeper. Because ultimately, in the words of Shakespeare, our doubts are traitors and make us lose the good we oft might win by fearing to attempt. Rather than fall prey to despair, I hope that you will go towards the difficulty wherever it lies and that you will bring the right tools for the fight, whatever it is. As we move forward, recognize that you are armed with the ability to think deeply. Recognize that power and that responsibility. St. Thomas has taught us the value of a voice. I hope you value your own voice. I hope you use it to speak up for yourself, and I hope that you use it to speak up for those who can, truly cannot do so for themselves, and that you have the humility to recognize the difference. This education is a gift. It is not available to everyone. And the question is, what will you do with it? As we go our separate ways, consider that the moments which test your patience or seem to push you to your limit are the ones that will shape you into who you will be. Honor those moments. The people with whom you disagree the most are the ones who have the most to teach you. Listen to them. Know your limits so that you can push them. No matter how small it is, when victory comes, celebrate it. Everything that crosses your path from here on out is here to help you begin. And it's here to help you answer the question of who you will be. And as you go about this, remember to think carefully, to speak compassionately, and to listen closely. Do not hide from yourself or from your potential. You have gifts to share, and they're gifts that the world needs desperately. Believe in them and show the world who you are. It is with nothing but the greatest pride that I stand among you today, such dear friends, and I just can't wait for what you do and what you show the world. In recognition of all the hard work that got you here, I offer you my sincerest congratulations. Today we celebrate the turning of a new page and we begin with a goodbye. <laughs>